Hello and welcome. This is going to be the first in a series of videos about getting started with XAMPP. So the first thing I'm going to do is, because I don't trust my typing skills, I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to type in Apache Friends. All right, if you search for Apache Friends, that's going to take you to a good solid location to find about the latest versions of XAMPP. So I'm going to click here on Apache Friends XAMPP. And that's going to take me to a page looking something like this. Uh, our most important project is XAMPP, so I'm going to click on XAMPP. Now, I'm going to talk for a minute here. I just wanted to get started so you knew I wasn't going to waste too much of your time. So why would you want XAMPP? Chances are, if you are watching this video, it's because you want to run a local web server on your computer for testing purposes. right? So what does that mean? That probably means that you are trying to run something which has PHP on the back end, or possibly MySQL, or maybe you just want to play around with a Apache web server. So. I want to install XAMPP for all of those reasons. So notice that XAMPP is platform independent. However, there's a different version. So Linux, Mac, I'm going Windows. So I'm going to click on Windows. And then we get a little information about the current versions. I'm going to scroll down a tad. What I'm looking for here is notice that we've got different versions of PHP support. I want the light version. So I'm scrolling down. And where do I see light? It's around here. Um, I could just scroll down, I guess, if I really wanted to be lazy. Here's the light version. I'm sure there was a link that would have taken me right there, but I missed it. Here's the light version, so portable light. And really what I like about this is it's a little easier to install. Uh, seems to be um, fraught with a bit less peril. Like it just, it tends to work out better. And what I really like about this is that you can install it on a flash drive. And that's really cool, the idea that you can run a little web server on a flash drive. And if you ever have a problem installing it on your machine, which is entirely possible, my best advice is, well, why don't you try doing the portable version on a flash drive? And so I'm going to need to uh, download it first. I've got several different options. I've got zipped archives. I've got an EXE. I'm going to go with the EXE. There's no particular reason. I actually don't know what one's faster. Both of these processes kind of take forever. So I clicked on that version. I would save my file. I'm going to save it on my flash drive. And now at this point, you can see that I've already saved one because I'm trying to do like the cooking show style here where where I don't make you watch my download take forever. So I'm going to save it, and I assume it's going to get mad at me because I already have something called that. Well, apparently I don't. Anyways, uh, if you look at my download bar right here, it's going to be at least two minutes. This file is about 80 megs, so depending on your connection, it's going to take a while. It's going to take me several minutes. It might take you many more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video, and once I get that file downloaded, we'll start working our way through the installation. All right, so I have completed my download. I actually threw away that one from earlier. Just We'll just do the whole process fresh. Uh, notice I did download it to my flash drive. You should know how to browse to the location of your file, hopefully, at this point. Um, you can see from System Clock, it took me a couple minutes. It might take you a couple more. I think one of the important things to understand in this process is, is that installing XAMPP is not difficult, but it does take a lot of time. So if it takes you an hour, it doesn't mean that you've done something wrong. Anyways, on my flash drive, I've got a music folder, because I do, and I've got an XAMPP installer. So I'm going to double click on this to start the process. And this is really just the beginning. I don't know how long this takes because I get it from my computer and leave every time. And I'm literally going to go home for the day. So it's saying I have an antivirus running. OK. Um, I'm literally going to go home for the day and see uh, tomorrow morning where this thing's at. So I'm going to go next. I don't really have an option here. At this point, it's asking me what components I would like to install. Now, me, for what I'm going to use this for is uh, web-based programming, so I certainly want Apache. I'm going to use that. I'm going to use PHP. I'm going to use PHP my admin. I'm going to use MySQL. Now, the other stuff, I'm saying, hey, you might as well install it. So Perl is another server-side language. Uh, I'm just going to install all of this. You could customize your installation as you want, but if you're watching a tutorial video, let's just do all of it. Now it's saying, where do you want to install this? Notice by default, it wants to put it on my C drive because it's smart. It knows that's my hard drive. There's only one rule here, and that is that it needs to be installed at the root of a directory. Now it's asking me where I want to install it. 
So I am going to select my flash drive because I can and because there are some real benefits to putting it here. Notice I'm going to need to make a new folder as well. It wants a folder. Why not call it XAMP? Yeah, okay. It just looked wrong. So something on my E drive, new folder for some reason. I don't know what I did, but it didn't take. And so now I'm going to click Next. And now just some stuff about saying, well, a very good reason you might be working with this is because PHP is the back end for a lot of CMS content management systems. I don't want to learn more about them, so I'm going to uncheck that box. No harm if I did. I'm going to click Next. And now we're ready to ins begin my installation. So I'm going to click Next. And I'm going to sit here and I'm going to wait a long time. Now, I don't know how long a long time is because I'm not... I, I have better things to do than sit here and watch this, but very well could take like an hour. People tell me that it takes an hour sometimes. So it's big, there's a lot of files, a lot of things that need to get worked out behind the scenes. So I'm going to pause it, and when we get back, we'll just verify that everything worked, and then you'll be ready to proceed to my next video, which will be verifying that we've got PHP up and running. So I'm going to pause it. I don't know how long it's going to take. Uh, it's totally normal for this to take forever. Hello, and so I have finally completed my download. As I told you, it's like uh, 12 hours later. I went home, I'm back first thing, so I'm just sitting here looking at my desktop. Apparently the installation finished. This checkbox here says, do you want to start the control panel now? I probably should leave that check, but I'm not going to. I'm going to show you how to manually start up XAMPP. So I'm going to finish. Should be all done at this point. Here's that folder name which I specified. Notice I'm on my flash drive E. So here's where everything happened. And I've got a whole bunch of folders in here. Some of the useful ones. One is htdocs. This is probably the one you're going to use the most often. This is like your uh, public web folder. So if you're making some web pages, that's where they would go. Uh, there's MySQL. There's PHP. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. You're not going to use half of these probably, but you might. Anyways, you scroll on down, and down near the bottom here we got XAMP, Start, Stop, Control. I'm kind of a fan, just open up the control panel. That's what that uh, little checkbox was trying to do for me. And I get this thing here. Right, so here's where I can start my services. So the first thing I might want to start is Apache. It'll turn green. It's opening up some ports. There's some things happening, which is why I might need to clear this with my firewall. And I start up my SQL. And at this point, that's everything that I want to run. And so if they're green, that means they're running. So now I've got a local web server and MySQL running on my own machine. And if you wanted to go to your uh, admin, you can click right here, and it'll take you into there. So this is just going to run in the background. I've now got a local web server running for testing purposes. But it's always kind of satisfying to verify it. So here's how I can prove to you that XAMPP is, in fact, up and running. If I click here, uh, just any tab, how about a new tab? I click in localhost. That is how you I can see well, if if uh, Apache's up and running. And sure enough, it is. And I get this kind of just XAMPP web-based uh, control panel thing. But if you go to localhost and you get something like this, then you are certainly running XAMPP. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to test that PHP is working. Then we'll talk about connecting to a MySQL database. And that'll conclude with kind of the XAMPP series. So uh, thanks for watching.